What's up everyone and welcome to my guide to hunting down the Evil Weapons Duo, Blighting Brand and Eldritch Edge. The two notorious monsters drop a powerful set of rare exclusive level 60 earrings for mages, namely the Cassandra's earring and the Hellenus's earring. Alone, these are quite useless, but when paired they provide a whopping 5-2 magic accuracy and attack. For this reason, we will cover them together in this video. These notorious monsters can be a little bit tricky as there is usually some competition due to the simple raw power provided by the earrings. As always, the information portrayed in this guide is recorded on and for specifically the Wings XI private server. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. First, let's cover Blighting Brand. It's a level 55 lottery spawn notorious monster that spawns along the spine in Soromog Champagne at G7, close to the zone to Jirno. A lottery spawn NM simply means you need to kill certain monsters known as placeholders for him to have a chance to pop. He can be soloed around level 70, potentially a little bit earlier depending on your job and gear. He drops the Cassandra's Earring, the first earring in the set. The drop rate is kind of on the low side, being of only 7% without the use of Treasure Hunter, going up to 12.21% with TH1, 16.3% with TH2, 19.56% with Treasure Hunter 3, and 21.29% with TH4. He does have a 90 minute cooldown for the window to open after its last being killed. Blighting Brand is actually quite simple to camp as he only has one single placeholder which always pop right here on top of the spine, on Wings XI anyway. The PH is an evil weapon with the mob ID finishing by 013. You can see the mob ID for yourself with certain add-ons like Ibar which gives the position, stats and ID of each monster. The repop time for the evil weapons is exactly 5 minutes so you can put a timer once the mob disappears after being killed to time the repop, or even easier, simply use an ability with a 5 minute cooldown. I like to use hide after every kill on my thief, so I know exactly when the placeholder is supposed to pop. If it does not, that means Blightning Brand pops somewhere along the spine. Keep in mind, while the placeholder does always spawn at the exact same spot, the Notorious Monster does absolutely not and can spawn anywhere along the spine. For this reason, it's a really good idea to bring some sort of wide scan to make sure you can find the NM quickly. I ran this on my trusty Thief Sub Beastmaster in order to benefit from wide scan, Charm to claim the NM along with Treasure Hunter and Fleet. I think that's probably the best combo for a lot of NMs as long as you are able to solo it without Utsusumi from the Ninja Sub or heals from using Dancer Sub. Just keep killing the placeholders until Blighting Blend decides to join the fray. The drop rate being on the lower side, don't get too discouraged as you might need to get a few kills in order to get your drop. I personally got a stroke of luck and went one on one on the earring. With our first target down, let's move to the second evil weapon on our list. Eldritch Edge is also a level 55 lottery spawn notorious monster and he spawns along the spine at K9 in Roldenberry Fields, fairly close to the zone to Jerno. He can be soloed at level 70 or potentially earlier, depending on your job and gear. The drop rate on this one is actually a little bit lower than its counterpart, being only 5.9% without Treasure Hunter, going up to 10.34 with TH1, 13.43% with TH2, 16.76% with TH3, and 17.65% with TH4. Eldritch is a bit trickier to camp as well than Blighting Brand, as he has three placeholders instead of just the one. To make things even a little bit more annoying, one of the placeholders is slightly north on top of another spine looking thingy. This means that you need to keep moving in between the two camps and kill all three of the evil weapons as any of them can make the NM spawn. While this is true for the placeholders, the notorious monster itself seems to always spawn on the southern side at least. 
The repop timer is also of 5 minutes on the weapons, so I try to put a timer once the first weapon is down in order to keep an eye for the spawn. Also, don't be impatient and I really recommend waiting for all three to have spawn before you start killing them again. I decided to kill the spawn early and was locked in battle when the notorious monster spawned right in my face, and I missed my shot at claiming it sadly to my competition. Another quick note here, the notorious monster seems to spawn often inside the crag looking thing, which can be a real pain to target. I just mash F8 on my keyboard until I'm able to target it while jerking the camera left to right. I am aware that you can use commands to see through structures on the server, but this is not allowed to facilitate a pull on a notorious monster on the server, so I would not recommend it. Again, having Treasure Hunter for this one is huge, and having a way to pull it quickly will help as well, though he does have Claim Shield. This means that the enmity is a random to a player after a few seconds of being claimed by multiple targets. Having White Scan will help in order to check on the repop for the third PH on the North Camp, but since the Notorious Monster seems to spawn almost in the exact same spot, it's really not needed here. Most players I was competing against simply used Sub Ninja or Dancer. I was not as lucky here as it took me about 10 kills or so to claim the earring and complete my set. That's it for my guide on camping, Blight and Brand, and Eldritch Edge. I have more videos on the way, so if you enjoy the content, make sure to let me know by liking the video and consider subscribing to the channel. If you feel like I've missed anything or you want to share any other tips, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching and happy hunting.